It was a great experience. Uh, firstly, being back home in a race car, there's nothing like it. So to see the home crowd, uh, to sleep in my own bed, everything about it was really nice. Um, and it was more of a fun weekend for me. So a lot less pressure than, than in Formula 2. So I had a blast. It was a bit unfortunate over a jump. We landed the wrong way with the steering wheel and then it sent us into, into the bush and into a ditch. But there wasn't much damage. I was able to get back out for Sunday and please the crowd. Uh, but yeah, generally it was just a, a really fun weekend. No matter what happened, I was I was gonna have fun. There's nothing like Barbados, firstly, and uh, yeah, just to have fun really. It, it, when I have a weekend off, I always love to come home. Um, and then if there's a race event on in Barbados, then I'll try my best to do it. So it's not much more to it. Um, I also think it helps me just driving a car, any car, every weekend to to learn new skills to develop my driving um, so I when I come home and if it's a radical or a go-kart or a rally car I always try to to get in it so yeah when I come home it's um, usually it's holiday but when there's a race event on I, I like to do it um, well rallying in Barbados uh, Sol Rally Barbados is a is a great event um, they had Hayden Patton come down who does a WRC2 which is the R5 cars um, Dane Skeet there's a lot of drivers who are, who are good and um, it's just a completely different sport really it's in rallying you're doing so many stages that are different in one day um, you need pay, pace notes from the navigator and you just need to keep it on the road try to be as fast as possible but mainly keep it on the road especially in day one push a bit harder in day two whereas circuit racing is a uh, hundred percent of the time flat out uh, every lap of every session of every day you are um, you're pushing your hardest so it's similar in a, in terms of you're pushing a car to its limits but in circuit racing is a bit more 100 percent flat out rallying you need to understand what's at risk and and kind of make it through the two days unscathed with no big errors back with carlin who i drove for in nf4 in 2019 and also euro formula in 2020 so i'm back with a team that i'm very familiar with um, we've had a few, a few ups, a few downs this year, but uh, generally the pace is there. Um, I'm learning well with the team, and we still, we're not even halfway through the season yet, so there's still a long way to go. A lot more podiums and trophies to get, hopefully, and um, we'll try to do the best job. Well, Formula One is the pinnacle of, of motorsports. Um, yeah, when I wake up on a morning and I realize that I'm in Formula Two all the time so close to that next step where there's 20 drivers in the world it's a, a privilege um, but only 20 drivers in Formula One in the entire world and and that's where pretty much every racing driver wants to go so it's a very tough road um, unlike other sports there's many football teams 11 players in a team who start the game um, in racing there's only 20 drivers in the world that can say they're at the highest level um, so Formula One is yeah the pinnacle of motorsport it's so much technology that goes into it, so much uh, money, investments um, by the manufacturers and amazing drivers as well. So it's, um, it's what I've been dreaming towards my entire life and until I make it there, I won't stop. It's actually difficult to explain because a lot of people, like you said, they don't understand what you need to be fit for. You're just turning a wheel and pressing the pedals, but it's a lot more than that. Um, we pull five, six Gs in the corners. Um, the brake pedal is not like a, ro a road car brake pedal. We have to smash that brake pedal as hard as we can. So whoever's strongest does a better job there. And uh, after 50 laps with 20 corners in one lap, so you're doing so many corners throughout a race, your hands are, are getting tired, your, your arms are getting tired, and you still need to mentally be prepared to, to handle any situation that comes by you. So we have to train a lot between a a lot of cardio, um, some weights as well. So between a bodybuilder and a, a runner, let's say, uh, and we just generally need to be very fit, we need to eat very well and be mentally prepared for the race. Uh, sometimes I lose two, three kilos just in one race. Uh, so you can imagine it's difficult to, to keep focused. And I think in terms of that side of things, is, racing is one of the hardest sports that you can, you can get. Bushy Park, uh, the circuit, if that becomes a bit bigger uh, and we can attract Formula 2, Formula 3, even Formula 1, that would be amazing. Um, for now, there's, there's not enough facilities 
to hold an F1 race. Um, there's 300,000 people in a weekend that come for Formula One. So hopefully, like I said, in the future, um, I'm trying my best to make it to Formula One and then maybe we can make something happen. Um, but for now, it's it's great to see all the Bajans, even in Rally Barreros last weekend, coming out and really supporting everyone, really uh, enjoying the the racing and, and the driving on track, on the roads as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying my best to, to make it to Formula One and, and let everyone behind the scenes uh, deal with that. I hope wins, podiums. Um, I'm just trying to do the best job that I can with the team. Uh, especially racing, so many there's so many variables uh, in motorsport. For example, in running, it's just as hard as motorsport, let's say, but if you're a fast runner, uh, if you're meant to do a 9.7, you're gonna do a 9.7. In racing, you can be meant to do anything and it doesn't happen because uh, you have a mechanical failure, uh, another driver crashes into you, another driver pushes you off, uh, it starts to rain on your lap. Um, there's so many variables in racing, so I just need to try to minimize those variables and, uh, and do the best job I can. And, and if we do that, then I'm sure that uh, we can have uh, many wins, many podiums for the rest of the season. And, but I'm not really, I don't have any expectations. It's just go weekend by weekend and, um, and see, see what we end up with. I think we need to and we can do a lot better of a job in, in uh, helping the young drivers get, gain experience and, and get overseas. Uh, I was really fortunate to be able to get away with my great sponsors and, and now I'm able to pursue my dream. Um, right now it's, I don't see many carters who have that opportunity from Barbados. So um, yeah, I've been speaking around and, and I want to do something about that as well in the future. So hopefully I can make it to Formula One sometime soon and, and really help out with that. Uh, in terms of rallying, uh, there are many rally drivers in Barbados. It's a big sport here in Barbados, like you said, and it's great to see. But again, there's not many young young drivers. I was the youngest uh, driver last weekend. Um, and if you go overseas, that wouldn't be the case. So yeah, we need to, to do a better job. I'm not, I can't exactly pinpoint what we need to do better in, um, but hopefully in the near future, we can, we can start to really support the, the young drivers and allow them to, to pursue their dream like I could. Really give back thanks because I, I've got an amazing support from sponsors in Barbados, from supporters in Barbados, and everyone's waking up at 3 a.m. to watch my races. So yeah, thank you everyone for the, the support. Uh, I'm gonna continue to try to, to do everyone proud. And um, yeah, any of the, you kids uh, out there dreaming to be a Formula One driver is, I'm not there yet, but it's not impossible. It's definitely possible. And um, yeah, we can, we can continue to, to push on. And I'm sure many Bajans in the future and, and people from the Caribbean as well can be in Formula One. Thanks a lot.